Okay, so today I'm joined by my co-star. You guys remember this, right? This is the grill that I went up to Meadow Creek Barbecue Supply and purchased. I think, I think, I think I'm going to name it. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, I know that was kind of wrong for me to do, but let me tell you guys what we're doing today, and then we'll talk about the name. All right, so let me get you guys in closer. But this, as you know, is my five foot uh, on-site catering grill. Now the charcoal pan, I actually have it above the cooking grate because I cleaned it all out, and I'm going to get some things done in here today just to make this a little easier for me to use. With that being said, I'm gonna explain the things I'm gonna do, and like I said, I'll get you in closer. All right, so these flaps here, this this is on the lid, so these act more like a, these act more like an exhaust, and there's one down here on the intake, down here by the fire, and this acts more like an intake and you can't see it because there's not enough light to see it. Oh nope still can't see it. But this acts more like an intake down here and these up here act more like an exhaust. The problem is this. See how that just kind of willy-nilly flops around? So what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna go run to Lowe's really quickly and get some wing nuts. I'm gonna get hopefully if I can find a quarter inch wing nut and I'm gonna get them, put them in here, install them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of these little uh, little doors, more or less. And I'm hoping that I can get them, install the wing nuts, and then I'll be able to tighten them when they're up at their highest point or down at the lowest point to close them off. Also, I have some, I also ordered some D-rings. And I'm gonna take these D-rings, these D-rings, and I'm gonna get them installed onto the legs of the grill so that I'll be able to uh, tighten it down so when I get it up onto the trailer, it'll be a lot easier. All right, so I'm back from Lowe's and let me show you what I picked up. So this is what I did. This was my plan to get some, I guess these are machine screws and some wing nuts so that I could put the screw on the inside, put the wing nut on the outside and have the ability to tighten up the wing nut so that this is actually tight. Now once it gets to where it is, simply tighten it up again and be good to go. Now if I always just spin the, the, uh, the disc here in this direction, it'll keep the wing nut tight. So I'll have to keep that in mind. But at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get the others, remove the, the old sheet metal screw and get the wing nut installed. Easy peasy, right? And then we'll move on to the D-rings. So I have six D-rings here, and I actually have more D-rings, uh, but I think these have the higher weight capacity, so I'm gonna use these. But I'm gonna put one on this end, one on this end, obviously one on the back side on the same leg, one on the other side on the same leg, and then I think I might put one up top up here, just in case I ever have to use this as a cinch point. Now one of the other things too I have are some of these, uh, I don't even know what these, these latches, uh, Anderson toggle latch. So what I'm gonna do is put one on either side of this grill so that when I am transporting it, if I don't use that, if I don't use the D-ring from the top here, I can have it cinched down and it'll be uh, secure from the D-rings that are on the legs. I guess I'll get to work. I'll see you guys when I finish.
right, so there you have it. Uh, you guys saw me get the, the D-rings installed, the uh, wing nuts installed, and then this thing here, I'm not completely sold on this. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I might just use it kind of as a backup, as a as an in-case type method if I ever have to secure the top down to the, the lid to the, to the base of the grill here. But you guys understand what I'm doing here or what I did. Anyway, the battery on the camera is about to die, so I'm going to wrap this up quickly. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Oh, I want to call this thing Johnny in memory of my grandfather, late grandfather named Johnny, because it's five foot long. So Johnny Five would be the name of this grill. I know it's not a female, but Johnny Five in homage to not only my grandfather, but one of my favorite movies as a kid, Short Circuit. So thanks again, as always, for watching. If you have okay, and what are you gonna say? Make sure you subscribe. Okay. Give a thumbs up. All right. So let's try this again. It's subscribe. Su make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give a thumbs up. What you like. Bye. <laughs> All right, so that was my daughter. She always wants to help whenever I, uh, she catches me filming the video. So just like she said, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. And uh, leave a comment, if you, again, if you have any other questions. And I'll see you next time. More water, baby. <laughs>